Sweet. Hi, my name is Jeff Bill, and welcome to week 23 of the manga cl- uh, cast. This week we read Blood on the Leaves by Kanye West. Uh, what was the thing called? Uh, Trail, Trail of Blood. Blood. No Warichi, Trail of Blood uh, is English the English name, version. Trail of Blood. Yeah. By <laughs> author, does anyone have it? Uh, uh, I can pull it up right here. I think I, I got it right here. Uh, Oshimi Shuzo. That's not racist. The fuck? It's a- uh, Mike's gonna host this week. Uh, he has loads of questions uh, and he's eager to pull his wang out. Uh, before Mike takes over, we are going to say hi to Alyssa. We're here with William in the place to be. Yo, we got Robert with the behelit and Michael yeah, with uh, I don't know what cat. Kind of thing. Oh my god, Merlot, don't look. What happened to the he kitty? Got, he, he got spooked. Oh, if he read the manga, he would know. <laughs> Do they actually reveal what happened to the cat? Yes, eventually uh, they do. Yeah. Um, not to the cat directly, but they answer why he's having like that that dream. Oh, okay. I figured like the mom was just continuing to shoot like slingshot pellets at it until it no. kind of ended up like that. No. That's so this this is like chapter this is like chapter one. Oh, this I thought cat. those are pellets. These are no, these are flies. So this is chapter one. That's like his actual dream. And then he Joe wakes Colton. up saying like, oh, mom, I had this dream about that cat from when I was like two years old. But they kind oh, of yeah, yeah. go later on, actually near the end of whatever the current chapter is, like 83 or something like that. They, uh, they kind of explain more of what happens in that weird dream kind of thing. It's really I good. I thought that was a flash forward, but his dream, he replaced the cat instead of the boy. Yeah, it's... And it's all revealed like, mom, 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 I remember that from two years ago. <laughs> and she's like, my boy, my boy, at, you're almost, the, almost right for harvesting. And she, you know, harvests oh. his seed. At the end, if you guys want, I'll I can spoil it a little bit for you, but yes. Because it feels all like right. this entire manga was like building up for something, but we never read to what it, Build up to, yeah. Still, we're, up this to is something. me if I smoke yeah. the vape. It's not done yet. No, no. it's oh. it's still ongoing. So basically, where we finished off was when shit really starts to hit the fan. Um, the mom really starts just fucking that dial just goes way past like eleven of like insanity, and then it, she just gets crazier and crazier. He gets like worse and worse. It's it's. It gets really good. It's a good, interesting read. It sucks you in. But uh, I'll What's start off. Summary of it. Yeah, I'll start off. I'll do a quick summary of it. I mean, that was. It's just about an overprotective mom, basically, and oh. it starts off seeming normal. You know, just like every mom, they're protecting their child, but you quickly start to learn it's not normal. Like how over, like how protective she is, and it gets really scary. So it's that's basically the gist of it. But an overprotective mother to her son, her one and only oh, son. Goodness, I can't stop burping. Will, what'd you think of the manga? Just kidding, Mike's hosting. Oh, also Mike's hosting. I don't know if I said that. Yeah. Will, what'd you think of the manga? I liked it. it was... Thousand points gone. Jesus Christ, Will. <laughs> you <Just> jerk. <laughs> Fuck, I got water on my nose. Nice. See what you did, Will. That's why so I lost you deserve. Points. Oh, do I have the ability to kick people from this call? Uh, <laughs> I don't think you're a host. <laughs> yeah, don't give him that power, Alyssa. <laughs> yeah, Alyssa. Yeah, right. I can, like, <laughs> throw people in the waiting room. No. <laughs> you guys are in a timeout. Okay. The gulag of the manga cast. <laughs> Will, how'd you like this manga? I liked it. Super unsettling. Not really mm. scary or anything like that, but unsettling. Yeah. It's a psychological. A lot of the, yeah, a lot of the art just, like, really well done yeah i love like he like he he does both creepy and like sweet very well whoever that Mm -hmm. draws it i don't know if it's a he or not but But yeah you get both of those like just kind of like gives you the shivers but at the same time he gives me some art that's just like oh that's really nice look at those yeah definitely when the chick blushes i was like yo that's well done Oh yeah, it's mm-hmm. super detailed the faces and I just love how the entire manga is basically just like 
pencil. Like it just looks like it was just done pencil. There was one that shading. was definitely done with like a four H pencil with oh, yeah. um yeah, yeah. It lo- I, that might be actually I think of that might have been chapter that 24. we have read. I'm not sure. It's definitely one of my favorite panels, but I think of all manga that we read, it is easily like the coolest panel. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. Yeah, I, I mean, gorgeous. saved one that uh, yeah, that I I, I really liked. When but we'll get, get there. there. Yes. Yeah. When yeah. We'll get I think it was chapter. But uh, how did everybody else like the manga? It was all right. <clears throat> Uh-huh. Like it feels it was like a it looks really nice. Can't really fault him for that, but it felt like it was constant build up for you don't really get much out of it. And that's what made it kind of forgettable. Did you want to read more though? Eh. I mean it's I feel like I'm probably gonna have to. Like is is the series over yet or not? No. No. I, not. I would suggest don't keep reading, Rob. Because okay. where it's up to now, you're gonna feel unfulfilled. Yeah, very. Like, okay. Yeah. Like maybe wait till it's completed. Yeah. Or at least, like, uh, again, I don't want to spoil anything until like, maybe the end. But. Yeah. Because how does the current chapter end? I forgot. Uh, the current is chapter. Is it forgettable? Oh, oh no, sorry. Okay, like sorry. the most recent chapter. Like, like that we read or the release? No, 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 no. That, That's released right now. Okay. I was trying to. Yeah. Yeah, I would I would suggest don't keep reading, Rob. Okay. For your sake, Mike, you look like you're. You might like it in the end, but where it's currently at, you know, it's (laughs) like just no real point. Shit. The early access isn't for you, you know. (laughs) You know it. That's a video game (laughs) reference. Touche, bitch. (laughs) All right. Fuck, where do questions go? God damn it! I'm failing already. Learned the hose plus ten points because you're doing better than I do. All right. Yeah, fuck. Come eight o'clock. Alyssa's is like, oh, we got manga club. And I was like, oh yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, fuck, comma yeah. that. You know, like I remembered yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, well, I best best speed read the fuck out of this. And then yeah, twenty minutes <laughs> passed, and I got like five more chapters to go, and I'm like, I'm speed reading too fast, and I'm gonna restart. <laughs> yeah. Because I was literally just skip, skip, skip. skip. I'm like, oh, fuck, no, I can't do that. Yeah. And honestly, it's any it's, information. It's not a difficult read, but once I started reading <clears> it, I. I, I think was it you will that said like it's not you won't get into it, and I can see at the start why well, it's kind of boring or whatever. It's just a mother being overprotective, but then no, once no, you start getting to like the yeah, yeah, mother being the first super hot and desirable, the first couple were uh, okay boring, but then once you get to like the creepy pasta shit, then I I couldn't stop. I couldn't creepy put it down. Papa, huh? I I read the shit out of it. I read it pretty fast. This is yeah. like yeah. I think I said in the chat in the. Uh, Facebook chat afterwards, this is like the first manga that I'm fully caught up with and that I'm actually like excited to like continue reading, like actively looking for chapters and stuff like that. Like, did it come out yet? Did it come out yet? Oh, I totally oh. lied. Uh, when we were talking about that uh, earlier in the week, Naruto wasn't the most recent one. Uh, the most recent one was fucking prison school. Yeah. yeah. I oh, caught yeah. up with them during the goddamn Andre arc when he's a giant and it's so fucking boring. <laughs> oh yeah, that, yeah yeah week by week i finished prison school and i fully purchased all the english release i can't remember if i because i know you got me to read it but i can't remember if that was after it already finished <clears throat> Good for you. i almost vaguely remember waiting for like at least a couple chapters before it finished yeah but i can't remember for sure but yeah that was yeah. yeah prison school was a fucking shit all right <clears throat> so kind of moving on to the plot did the plot make sense from to anybody from like what we have read yes it makes sense yeah makes sense yeah building up yeah. anticipation of what the fuck's up with this one yeah do you guys see any also, like for mike sorry. it seems like it's a uh a bi-weekly it is bi-weekly seems yeah, cause like I'm, it because i'm not gonna lie when i was searching up to see like what how did the most current chapter or yeah the most current chapter ended i saw, i realized i'm like i don't think i read that chapter no uh last chapter came out on the uh, on my version came out the fifth. Before that, it was no uh, September sixteenth, and then it was August 29th. Yeah, I might August have August nineteenth. So it seems like roughly biweekly. Yeah. So I think I, that that chapter that came out on the fifth, I think I can read that. Did it start, Lissa? Yeah. Um. 
Good question. If it's First bi-allele, typically an 83. Math is is difficult. First chapter here is posted on actually this year, uh, whatever the sixth month is, the 29th, but it looks like a bunch of chapters are all posted at the same time. Yeah. That's, yeah it could have uh, been that's just when people decide, like a group decided yeah. to do proper scanlations mm-hmm. and shit like that. And that's just this version. Like someone might have been uploading them from the beginning at some another, another site or something like that. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just chapter sixty one. We're all posted at the same time. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. There's not much about on the uh, manga decks either. Yeah, I can probably just Google it. Yeah. That's um... well, if I go into manga decks to the very first one. Since February 2017. Seventeen. Yeah. So it's a long one. Mm-hmm. Blood on the tracks. It's apparently the official name. Damn. Oh, damn! Blood on the tracks. Yeah, you've been facing this this summertime. I wish I was Kanye West so bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you guys see any loose ends, like plot holes, anywhere? Nothing that doesn't seem intentional. Yeah. Yeah. I like, kind of thought the we... dad would fuck off, like right in the beginning. Yeah. Like the only one. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it happens before the cutoff is when the mom is talking. Yeah, it's it's before the mom's talking to the husband. Shelly like, told me to like fuck off and shit, and she mentions. It almost seems like she had a miscarriage or something, or lost a kid already. It. You when, think so? When did that happen? Honest, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that's her reason for it. That's super interesting. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. I can find it. I yeah. think it was in what we still had to read. I that don't think so. Stick. I honestly, I don't think so. Because it's he comes home and it's raining. Definitely no raining scenes at all. Yeah, I think it's raining. No, it's I not raining. Because I know the raining scene that I'm thinking of, but I don't think this is from where we read. Was it after? I think so. I even forgot what chapter. Because it's she pushes him. Did off. we have to? Did we have? Did we, well, had, like chapter did we have to read when six. the dad forces him to go to see the? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's it's then. What? Then? When they're arguing. Oh and... no! It's like chapter twenty-two because in chapter twenty-three and twenty-four, he's that's when he's saying, like, "Oh, is it all my fault? It's because I was born." So it's around chapter like twenty something when it happens. We're gonna find this. We're gonna find this. I don't think it said anything about like a miscarriage or anything. Just like, oh, my life ended after. After he was okay. Yeah. I got it right here. <clears throat> Maybe she chapter... just has like postpartum super hard. It's chapter nineteen. So, or she's, she's depressed to begin with, or she yeah. doesn't love her kid at all. But you know, in a twisted, warped way, she's yeah. interpreting that depression as love. So I'll screen. I'll screen share what I got here, so you can see it. So it starts off with chapter nineteen when he is coming back from mm-hmm. being at that girl's house and that's when she starts hearing why 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 and then the argument because everyone has been worried sick and i don't give a damn what they think yeah to go i don't want to see those people i'm alone i'm all alone i cite you too and it goes to chapter 20. I think this is like here where she starts saying like ever since he was born and stuff like that. Because it starts off saying like almost like being protective of him. Mm-hmm. But then it kind of like switches over to her saying that uh, it's all his fault for being born basically. Yeah, see? All the time. It's like I wish I could go back to before he was born. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I think so, I'm just going back to like if you keep going, where she like talks like an imaginary kid. Oh, that's <clears throat> something completely different. Keep yeah. Going. Keep as much going. as I oh, yeah, saw that part, I here. just interpreted it differently. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. part here, yeah. I thought maybe she was talking like to the baby. Like yeah, I thought to like a dead. I, I just took it as like a, like a previously dead kid. I don't know. Maybe it's just her like thinking about uh, Saichi when he when he was a kid. Because when he was like a spooky little baby. Yeah. I don't. I think I I might actually have an answer to this, but it might. It's. I think is it's it dumb? It's technically a spoiler. 
if you want to kind of yeah, sure, dive go into for it. it. Okay. For all the people so, that are going to watch this. <laughs> okay. So that cat that he sees at the beginning, that whole thing, what happens is when he was, I think, about two years old. I think it was two. Yeah. She, yeah mm-hmm. she, she takes him for a walk. Actually, I think it might even, I don't know if it's still in the chapter that we, that we read up to. Oh, what the fuck happened? Right oh, thing. my God. Yeah, I'm so oh, yeah, fucking pale. Michael. It did they go to? Did they go to like a, like a place with a nice view of the city? I think so. On a hill. Do you guys? Was anybody that, remember that? that? Was that in what we were reading up to? I remember a hill. Yeah. More. I remember when he was with his. <laughs> it was just him and his mom. They went for like a walk. Yeah, I don't think uh, that was. No, I don't sure think the cousin that was wasn't here. there. No. no. Okay, yeah. so so the mom basically takes him to a walk, and he's like two years old. He's like, yeah, look at this place. Beautiful. He used to come up here all the time, and she basically grabs him. And throws him off the ledge, like off down the cliff, trying to kill him. Okay. So, I think that that whole scene that Will's talking about that. Oh, this is when he was a two-year-old kid. She tossed him. And off she the does ledge. it. Yeah. She, yeah. He doesn't remember it. Eventually, I think it's like almost right near like chapter eighty something. It finally clicks in his head, and then he remembers. Yeah. So I think. Mom's a bully. I think this part here that we're seeing. No, I went past it. I damn, where'd it go? Wrong way. So I think that part where Will's talking about where she's like talking to an imaginary kid here, <sighs> it's almost like she's reenacting that scene or that, that memory of like bending down, picking him up kind of thing and saying, listen to me. I think, I, th- I think that's what happens. It could be. Yeah, because it says like her. It's all right. Just hurry up and put on your shoes. I'll take you someplace nice, someplace fun. Mommy will come with you. Yeah. So I think this is a flashback to before she actually tossed him over the cliff, saying like, "Put on your shoes. We're gonna go for a walk." And then they go yeah, for a yeet. walk, and then a literal yeet. <laughs> and then, the whole thing. and that's why I saved one of the pictures that I saved. It's really good because the reason that's the reason why he had that dream, remembering that, because that cat symbolizes him, and the way it's drawn is that cat's body but his head on it. Mm-hmm. It is a super powerful image, but it it's a little bit of a spoiler. But there's one major spoiler, yeah, like one major thing where when I read, it, I was like mind blown. I was like, holy is it shit! Joke the whole time. No, it's not. It's <laughs> it's just more. It's a more psychological. Like God Maybe damn. Fucking... Hey, has anyone seen the Uninvited? No. Oh, okay. I seen it on Netflix. I was thinking about watching it. The Uninvited. Yeah, we gotta watch it. It has a uh, Emily Browning in it. I don't know what it is. What it's about. Uh, she's the main chick from Sucker Punch. Mm. Uh, anyways, no. Yeah. But um, so I think I think that's like what one that's movie, happened to her. Think. So I don't think that she had a miscarriage. I think, I think she you was misinterpreted that. Huh. But uh, I, I, I think it's one of those things. Like as reading it, that's how I interpreted it, and then yeah. just, like, never left my mind. Even though. Well, did you I have a miscarriage? Me. I'm just kidding. How'd you know? Uh, <laughs> but it wasn't until like then when I saw it when you were saying like talk to imaginary kid because I read up that that far. I was, it clicked in my head. I'm like, oh. Because yeah, fuck. I love this manga. <laughs> I almost like want to like actually like buy the physical copies. Are there even any in English? I have uh, no idea. Four out. But four what would that cover? Seven chapters per volume. Fourteen twenty-eight. About twenty-eight chapters out. Uh, volume Maybe. four is up to chapter thirty-two. Little hey, I'm son. That's cool. I wonder if Cece just owns it and she was just being lazy in her selection, didn't want to read. <laughs> and then doesn't even come on the cast. You know what they're doing, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're playing fucking Steve. Literally, they can do this at any point. <laughs> but he's on release. He's, he's, he's permanently out. You know, they're both like doing it's not duos a limited time online. Release. Testing him out, trying to get, be pro at it kind of thing. I'll test them out eventually. Huh. Um, 
Okay, let's try, I'm going to try to get us back on track here. <laughs> <clears throat> what was your guys' favorite characters? Yeah, it's actually uh, the girlfriend. Question, but... yeah, I was going to say the girlfriend is probably my favorite character. Yeah, because she's the illest. That's a dad. That yeah, doesn't seem pretty cool. She is suffering from realness. I've been listening to a lot which, of Kanye Which guys. dad are you talking about, Alyssa? The alcoholic abusive dad of hers or his? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that guy's fucking sweet. <laughs> what did she throw at him again? Uh, the radio. There was. That's there was a radio. Yeah. Uh, I was referring specifically to his dad. Okay. Fucking water. So far, he's like the chillest character. But He seems yeah, pretty level-headed and kind of quickly <laughs> losing control of the situation. He's like, fuck, yeah. Yeah, let's see my sister. He can. He knows that it's all just like falling through his hands and he's just trying okay. to like keep it together. And you can just slowly see like his character slowly cracking and breaking, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. All right. So we're going to get to the best part, the art of this, I think is by far one of like the best things of this manga other than the actual story itself. Let's pull up some panels. And let's start going through some That's of these things. You. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. the story still has that like that moment. Oh, it's thousand points to you, buddy. What's that? The story still has like a hurdle like to get through that I feel like if it passes it, it's gonna be a great story. But if it like flops, it's gonna be all for nothing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Especially I'm... where it's going, because I like didn't see how the last couple of chapters were gonna go. I'm going to see these panels first. But I think there's quite a few um, repeats and stuff here that people liked. Yeah. Don't you dare say weird stuff about my mother like that. Do you open mouth kiss her? <laughs> <laughs> I saw somebody posted that picture. Yeah, someone did. We'll get there. Oh, it's totally me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> this one with the secondary yeet. Mm-hmm. Again, out. suffering from realness. I like the cool uh, stuff that they do. And that absolute bugs. hog on her. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> the stuff that they do with bugs. It's just a really think... detailed art. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like the bugs reoccur during certain scenes. Mm-hmm. Like this one, I think there's like dragonflies and another one. Super pretty. And this one seems to be like a visual... Um, you call a visual motif that kind of reoccurs every once in a while. Yeah, especially mm-hmm. of her. It's yeah, almost like means. it's almost like the artist. They never has... make her look crazy till later on. No, I they still make her look sane. Yeah, the uh, the panels that I have saved that I didn't see anybody's post has those panels where you so see like, like the transition. An example of this that I would refer to like can people watch Gone Girl. No, which one? Gone Girl. Yeah, are you talking about the bed scene? Yeah. Yeah. Where it opens up with that scene of, oh, like, yeah, you don't know what the hell is going on at first. It's just like a scene of a wife. And then they repeat that same scene at the end. And then because of everything that kind of unfolds throughout everything, you know that that scene is like way more sinister than mm-hmm. you make it seem out to be. So that's why I feel working on you know the, these ones. The movie was originally going to have Reese Witherspoon. That would be way more creepy, I think. If she played uh, it well. Yeah, uh, the reason they weren't, I, I think she thought she couldn't pull it off. Ah, yeah, if she can pull it off, I could see like, that would be totally changing her character. Gone, girl. Well, probably just changing like every role she'd get after that. Mm-hmm. This one, so again, right after she eats. So, you know, you don't fuck crazy. They may look hot, but, you know. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You still Oh, this part, too, is another, like, a uh, ramble. I was reading back again to see if there's anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Wasn't that just after she shoved him off? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And I was thinking, what the hey? Yeah, I, don't, I can't figure it out. What does this happen? What I know from the story now. After she uh, checks the cousin. Just before oh. that that top panel there where she's like, sigh, go get everybody. Yeah, you know, it'd yeah. be cool. Uh, based off this scene, if like the kid's not even his dad's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause like saying like, he's just a friend. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. And you, you say, say he's, he's just, just the friend. friend. <laughs> oh, baby! Dude, I never realized Ray William Johnson fucking ripped that song off just to say, uh, you got what I need, but girl, you ain't seen these balls or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Robert would not really stop playing it on ball. Friday. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I do. You ain't seen my I'm balls. Just, uh, I can't remember when this you happened. You ain't seen my balls. You, 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 you ain't seen my balls. Well, this, I don't think I can do this. Uh, right. That was on the bench. Ah. <clears throat> Uh, bench for the first time, I believe. And this is mom snapping at the dad, I think. Yeah. Yeah. This one's really fun. I like this one. Yeah, it's sexy. They're really coolly drawn. <clears throat> I'm assuming CC liked this one because it was uh, Connie San can communicate their back. Maybe. Oh, I kind of <laughs> thought it was more reminiscent of um, Silent Voice. That too. Oh, that too. Yeah. I've still been reading slowly through Kobe <laughs> Stone. You're going to get spit. This one's really cool. This, this one's really cool. Yeah, it looks yeah. so much like that uh, Grudge movie. Or right, what's yeah. the one with the camera? Oh, sh- Paranormal uh, Activity. No, no, no. The one with <laughs> like, the flash camera. It turns out the guy's girlfriend that he killed or something. Oh, Shutter. Uh, that's Shutter, it. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, the one I wanted to watch the other night. No, it's <laughs> fucking creepy. I like it. <laughs> no. Fucking shutter. Okay, so I'm gonna watch that movie later. <laughs> God damn it! I almost spilt my beer. And then this one. Are you mad I'm just because I strangled you? A bit? <laughs> oh shit! How much? No, you don't tell me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> is this past the point that we read? No. No. This is no. literally. Oh, this is like the last chapter. I think. This is like yeah. chapter like thirty. I think it's literally the last chapter. Thirty-one or something like that. So really she's like happy? running Maybe after him in the woods. <laughs> or running after him in a field. Yeah. Good point though. How, how is she? How is he? She supposed to know? Where's mine? Uh, oh, that was, was just Cece's. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was just Cece's. Uh, yeah, this is chapter thirty-two. It's literally in the last chapter. There's uh, who else? Will has a bunch. One second. <sighs> Excuse me. Me and my friends all hate the mom. Mm. All right, well. Super cute. Yeah. And the detail. So, so hair, reason for this one. Phenomenal. Yeah. Delicate shoulders, you know. <laughs> also, teenager. I got this up. I just saw this one. I can't even remember yeah. what happened. I honestly, I don't remember either. I don't remember this one. But I Did you? Uh, oh, fuck, I fuck, think fuck. that's. That's when he, sh- after she said, like, don't ever see her, don't ever see her again. And I think she just discovered that he did see her again. Or was that Yeah, that's right after question? she smells yeah. his, like, fingers. Yeah. Like, questions him. Like, <laughs> oh. like did you finger bang her? <laughs> <laughs> that is such a realistic panel. Yeah. I fucking love that one. Yeah. It's just yeah, I almost- creepy. It looks like it was like one of the one... first like creepy shots of her that you kind of get. It kind of reminds me of that rotoscope anime. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. where the entire thing was just traced over. Yeah, it was like mm-hmm. kind of unsettling, but like a really well told story, and that's like the only draw of it. Yeah, it's like one of the first uh, panels of the whole sh- day, yeah. isn't it? This mm-hmm. is like <clears throat> this is little like kitty page, taking a dirt yeah. nap. Page like five, almost or less, even. Because so I think she asked. Oh no, this is near. No, no, no. This is near the end of chapter one, where she asks him, "Why do you think the cat's dead?" And she's like, uh, and he said, "Like, oh, she, he probably got hit by a car." And then she replies with, "Yeah, that's probably it." They're mm-hmm. ominous. No. <clears throat> Someone give him a little love tap with a shot. I just like this one because the at just looks creepy. I don't mind those uh, when you're a kid and you're looking at an adult. That 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 kind of reminds me of that. You know, just that kind of weird, like dead on angle. Mm. Like looking at someone like this. You're still not necessarily uh, almost, but you know, if like an adult's talking to you and they almost appear like this, and they're trying to be cheerful, so they're like, "Hi, how's your day?" And you get like the <laughs> up in your mostly, face, mostly like chin. Yeah, it's almost like they're looking right. down at you, but you know, leveled. That's what I thought it really means. I like this one because I just like the 
dichotomy in his art of just like the creepiness and then like the cute that this person could draw. Oh, for sure. Because mm-hmm. there's a lot of detail in the eyes that like really sell it. Mm-hmm. Especially when the dude's happy. Yeah. Look at this creepy ant. Yeah, yep, more creepy ant. Big ass teeth. Also, I always like how like it's almost ominous when they do the black text, but here it's not really. <laughs> I think it's the like, reason the kid this dies. is this is the first time they use the black text. Yeah, since the start. So it's I like think, it's it's like when you know. Okay, yeah. It's like okay, something's gonna happen here. Yeah, yeah. it's like their and visual. Making cue. fun of the kid's mom, so she's like, yeah. "You really are overprotective," and that's the reason the mom shoves her kid off a cliff. That's why she's overprotective. She's showing the ant protect your fucking kid, or get your shit wrecked. Yeah, Jeff, I would suggest keep reading it because your mind will be blown. Am I am I completely off track here? <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> With the so the reason the mom kills the kid is revealed, and I'm way off track. Yeah. Okay. I like this one because it just shows his mental state. Yeah. Because it starts off like kind of like the tear normal, like, but it's just like away. that's like a visualized interpretation of what a panic attack feels like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like ginger ale in the hand. When in the moment of panicking, and even your vision kind of goes. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh fucky. This is yeah, also I that was one of my cool favorites. Too. Yeah, this is just after the mom kisses him. And you just after like after before. I think this is after. I think it's right uh, before. No, this is I thought it was after because he's saying like I can't breathe. This is not yeah. this is not where he's like has to puke and then shoves the fingers down her throat. Oh the next panel. That's the different one. Yeah, yeah this creepy. is directly when they get home. Yeah. After talking to the police. Mm-hmm. And I just it thought this was... Super creepy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because like a nice little scene on the bench, but he's already terrified because he hears her and they just heard in the background. And also, she just put a kid in the ICU. Did anyone yeah. pick up on that? Uh, yeah. You can tell like the... tombstone that kid. <laughs> the whole, the whole time, he's just like... <laughs> Right off the cliff. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the kid's completely crushing every bone shattered with the mom perfectly fine. It can only be described as just fucking annihilated. <laughs> A flawless tombstone from the top ropes. Okay. Crowd, these are yours. I love that you cropped these rubs. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you always crop them and name them dumb shit. <laughs> I still remember That's the boy. Ones. That's the same as time. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Where's the names? I want to see the boy. Name, what would you name this one? I think I just named that one Hey. <laughs> what are the names for that? That one's Glasses Boy. <laughs> uh, it's this shitty friend. That one is Hot More Mom. Lines. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but lines. <laughs> oh, I was just called Capture because I didn't name it. <laughs> no, I do believe in yeah. string. I just really liked how they used uh, like just shading to show like the, <laughs> that there's a cloud in the mm-hmm. up yeah. part. Mm-hmm. Just nice little backgrounds he does. Yeah, that's a cat. <laughs> Titled that one Cat. And, and a live really one. It's its neck snapped. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is what they call the very rare not dead cat. <laughs> <laughs> they don't stick around very often. Oh, excuse me. Shit. Are you saying cats are not just born dead? <laughs> You're alive yeah, and you go to say, sleep. I'm going to say <laughs> Jess for last just because he has Why? 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 He has so much. Okay. <laughs> I'll be yeah. buzzing by that point. Here we go. I think I have like three or four in mind. Uh, I think you have three. Yeah. This one. Oh, so she like bites her nails. Like, so if you it. scroll down, Michael, that's chapter thirty-three. That's not allowed. That's thirty-two. That's thirty-three. Was it? Yep. Because I did the same thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I read that too. Okay. So yeah, I read that too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I told most people. Yeah, I think yeah. I, I think I said it's like you can read the thirty-two, but you have to read the thirty-three. At least get that <laughs> little arc done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you if you keep going down, it's like in order, pretty much. So that's the one where. He, He's first asking like her to be the girlfriend, and you can I like the whole visual art that they have of it of showing him struggling to like totally get the words out. That. Yeah, that's yeah. so that's fucking so cool. cool. Yeah, and like the hands of his mother holding him back, basically. And okay. then, then good the fuck, next one, catch, yeah. 
is That's where all I have. The don't need, I know, but now if you go back up where it says like don't need, so that's that's when he first stops and says like I don't need you around, uh, and then that's yeah. where you can start to see like the actual like, oh no fuck, it. oh wait, never mind, you had it in the right order, I'm just fucking dumb. <laughs> you can slowly see like the turn from like normal to like that creepy one like what, mm-hmm. and then she bite like bites the fingernail off. Yeah, I think that's one of the Jeff's panels. One second. I think I just had two that were different. Oh, yeah, yeah. You gotta have the open mouth kissing one. No, I did not. <laughs> or just it was so odd. Yeah, Why would you not have it? This one. Oh, when he activates it, shining eyes. <laughs> no, Is just really... like the close up on the eyes. I was the. He does eyes really well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Super well done. And then this one. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I haven't <laughs> seen anyone do that since like last month I honestly when I read this part I thought they're going to start doing this weird like thing where the cousin is going to eventually try to trick him into like kissing him or something like that like, yeah. like just kissing just cousins just everyone has weird... a kissing cousin you just kiss at the midnight <laughs> doesn't count <laughs> I thought they were going to go like some weird like arc that's is that sad. why the mom killed him? Because like you're getting too close to my son. That's my dick. Do you want me to tell you? <laughs> He's running all around the club screaming, "That's my dick!" Yeah. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah, I'm not for spoilers. I'm I'm not going to finish reading it. Okay. So, neither. so okay. going back to that story where she picks up the two year old version of Saichi, yeah, and eats him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So she saves the cousin, mm-hmm. and she's normal. She's holding the cousin, looks at him, and that's why you see him say like auntie because mm. he sees something change in her face and yeah. she tosses him the reason why she tosses him is because she thought that was Saichi mm. wow. her kid she thought that was her kid in her own hands oh, and she threw cool. him so, so why the dead cat that's just from when that whole thing first happened when she yeeted him off the cliff off this like little hillside cliff when he was two years old. Mm-hmm. After that whole incident, while they're walking back home, he sees that dead cat. That's mm-hmm. it's just kind of one of those things like going back to that whole I am not sad. main memory kind of thing. And there's um there's a panel that says like, oh now I know why I keep dreaming of that dead cat. That dead cat is me because she I think she even tells him or she admits to somebody that I wasn't, I thought it was Saichi in my hands. I, I don't know if she tells it to him or to the husband. I forgot who she admits it to. But she tells somebody that I didn't know that was, what's the cousin's name? Saigi? Saiga? Oh. What are the cousin's name is? Yeah. Cousin. Yeah. yeah. She cousin. says like, she says like, I didn't know that was him. I thought it was Saichi that I was throwing off the cliff. So there's something going on. It's just like an extreme version of postpartum, essentially. Yeah, that's 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 the vibe that it feels like they're going for. But I don't know where the story itself is going. No. Does the girlfriend stick around? Uh, the girlfriend yeah, sticks around. around. The yeah. mom is the mom's in jail. She's admitted it. They, she yeah, got caught. They... The aunt figures it out. Oh yeah, because he wakes up and he's not brain dead anymore. He's slowly starting to remember. <laughs> he's slowly starting to remember things. They have a suspicion that it was her that did it on purpose and then and from there she just openly admits it she's like yeah i did it i threw him off take her to the police station and everything so they're going through like a trial now or they're getting a trial prepared yeah it's like she's in jail and then i don't know i can see concluding where he tries to undo the trauma his mom did and then like she has one final say to him or something like that and then just like re-triggers everything and like undoes all his work and then that's the end of the manga so from where we ended off, she already kind of has like her teeth sunk into him and like has mentally fucked him and has him under control. Oh, like, and it gets it gets way worse. <laughs> like where oh, yeah. he he's like telling <laughs> everybody like your head out <laughs> so he's like basically like telling everybody like you know fuck you leave my mom alone kind of thing. And then once she gets arrested and goes to jail, now it's like basically him <clears throat> trying to like get back to normal. 
and trying to piece <clears throat> everything together because now he is struggling to understand like what's the truth and what's not the truth. Did he actually see her mom, like see the mom push her, push him? Did hmm. he not? Like he doesn't actually still fully know what the truth is. It's weird though. Cause like when she's getting like taken away, she tells him like, live your life now. You're free of me. Yeah. There's like, where's this going? Yeah. If we were to like read the entire thing, that question was like, is there any plot points? There's a lot of like plot point holes, <laughs> like plot holes near like the most recent chapters. But yeah. it's because it, it's they're opening up to continue uh, the story basically. It's just questions that haven't been answered. There's a lot of there you go, a lot of unanswered questions right now. Answered. Unanswered, yeah. my god. Right, Jeez. What the fucking Rachel's dude. All right, so you ready to? That's a cow a bummer. Yeah, that top panel I thought was done well. Didn't care about the bottom bit. Uh, just for the next one to be done even better. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah, that, one that one. Yeah, was phenom. Such a cool way to do like just a feel the trees. Mm-hmm. Where'd he go? You're only seeing the tops, and yeah, I I could get lost in that just trying yeah. to pick out small details. I was almost wondering if like the shading, and if I lean back, almost like a magic eye would. Not necessarily like a magic eye, but mm. maybe well, there's like a fact, skull just, or something. They just took a picture of a dude's afro. Huh. <laughs> uh, this one was cool with the mom in the hand and then suddenly all the adults are shrouded in shadow and it's just him trying to decide mm-hmm. what the truth is. And in that moment, yeah. that's when I like that the, one the trauma really solidifies deep yeah. within him. <clears throat> Meat bun. <laughs> um yeah he's just he's stopping his decisions in his life and can no longer make them he just meet fun meet fun uh it even goes to a point where the mom stops giving him the choice and you're, you're having to meet fun mm-hmm. uh i thought that was cool because yeah, he usually chose the red bean bun didn't he? until the one no. day he, oh, he, he always, always yeah but he, he always the chose bun. the meat bun yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah uh i really like uh colored panels when done well and the fucking bush alone is such yeah. a yeah it's a like a watercolor it's really or like, water paint but it's almost like all washed out yeah, yeah. oh yeah that's what i really like it's like almost like a blue tone but mm-hmm. switch to him he's the only thing with proper color i like it and then the next one too <clears throat> the same thing carries on mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the mother controlling that's all that was yeah uh-huh. Yeah, a super weird kiss. After being like, you'll you'll never have a girlfriend, you'll never be with anyone else, only me, and then kisses him. <clears throat> Stealing his innocence. Uh, the open mouth thing was weird from the beginning and only carried on after he yeah, was unable to speak of what happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think if there was like audio, like if this was an anime, that every time he has his mouth open there, he, it's like he's trying to get a word out, like, oh, 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 oh. get the grudge. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I was almost yeah. hearing, like, the grudge, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she decided yeah, everything in two seconds. I thought that was badass. Mm-hmm. The girlfriend becomes a safe place for him, and there's him just, oh. Oh, plus it's really well drawn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next one was more so revealing the story I thought was cool rather than the panel itself. Uh, back to the butterflies, but in his memory, they stand out more than the actual murder itself or attempted murder itself. Yeah. Um, in the original, when it actually happened, they were there, but this time, yeah, they're standing out more in the memory. Typically, you don't see anything go outside the black lines in a manga like that. Mm. Yeah, uh, but and mm-hmm. for the moths or butterfly butterflies, whatever they are, that's like super significant. I thought that was really cool. It it's almost like showing that that if you were to see a butterfly, it's like a trigger thing. <laughs> like if he sees a butterfly, it gets triggered to this memory. That's like what he has a link to. Same thing with shadows, uh, as the earlier panel. <clears throat> Unforgivable. Give me some curly fries. And him taking it upon himself. Much as Instead of chapter do. 23. Is that? 
Yeah, end of chapter 23, because remember, I didn't read chapter 24 till right now. <laughs> that weird fucking... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anime there. <clears throat> he finally remembers and confronts all in one action, and it's like the first thing he can speak, which is super cool. Oh, my other favorite and panel. that's the fucking sexiest panel in yeah. any manga we have read to date. My God, that looks like a fucking just... Yeah, like I said, uh, an R. That's eight. like somebody just bored in class, just it's drawing. It's so like well done, though, like my So Christ. well done, yeah. You can see like the finger shading that we're seeing. <clears> yeah. Mm-hmm. The cheeks, the lips. The like, neck. This was not gone over again with ink at all. No, never. Yeah. Oh. That is, yeah, it's really nice. I really like that. Like this artist is talented as yeah, fuck. I, I can't say enough good things about that panel. No. Or page, I should say. Only a child. Ring it in. I think that was a dream, but it wasn't black because it's not a memory. Or just him reflecting. Oh, and also they changed the font for that one. I think that was a unique font. Yeah, I can't remember. Oh, there's his mom being sinister. There's regular, and then there's that one. So again, just cool in the storytelling. Uh, him being triggered by grabbing on the neck. And flipping out. Showing his isolation, but you know that the world can still be beautiful within his own isolation. I thought that was real cool. And then dragonflies. Mm-hmm. I just thought it was beautiful. More mm-hmm. insects. Cool sky and those two. Yeah. Him grateful for the moment. Falling in love. Are we going to find out? That the mom is just a bug lady the whole time. <laughs> Alien bug person. Pretty freaking sweet. Then fucking Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith show up. Oh I like that God. she was shadowed in strictly horizontal lines, and then his was kind of warped a little bit there. Mm-hmm. That was just cool. Unique choice to show the yeah. her, her scent. Mm-hmm. And that he realizes mom's been smelling her the whole time. And that's from one chapter past what we were supposed to read. Yeah. <clears throat> but cool enough, a lot of people don't know this. Um, a self harm is actually incredibly grounding. So while she's slowly losing every sense of self, her son's finally rebelling, this girl she does not want around. She bites so hard through her fingernail that she hurts herself. And then suddenly she can smile again. But like back to her psycho self. Uh, but not completely out of control. Mm-hmm. And then just to draw such a pretty panel within that to show that, I thought was fucking cool. And yeah, I think this is the. Yeah, that's one chapter <laughs> past. Where you're supposed to read. Yeah. Uh, like this, the pose also like matches the ones I was talking about, like the visual motif that's. Mm-hmm. Runs mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like almost as that last one that you had on there. It's almost like that first one that we saw when you first started talking about that. Yeah. It almost looks identical. They just, but they just added the finger and like the blood. Oh, it looks identical. That's what I mean. Why you like a visual? Oh, okay, okay. Like a repeating kind of theme. Ah, uh, okay. And uh, yeah, it's usually <laughs> done in different ways. I was probably missing one from somebody. Oh, there was one that everybody had that was that one ripped panel. Oh yeah, fuck. Yeah, that was so it. cool. Uh, when the letter was being ripped, but like pieces of yeah. finger being ripped up. Yeah, that was fucking dope. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. yeah, that was the yeah. one that was like. Did any of us save that? I think no, all of yeah, us did. So let's did. skip it. <laughs> I must have just like missed the one, the first one that I did. Mm-hmm. I find it. <clears throat> it's yeah, for sure in my group, but my group's like the biggest. I'm surprised I didn't save that one. Oh, I did save it. Yeah, did just to say that was one yeah. of the ones that was popular amongst everybody. This one. Yeah, so fun, cool. I don't even hold. I don't remember it. Oh, especially yeah. that, especially that she it. makes them rip it together. Yeah. yeah, and then for him to lose a piece of himself in that action, and it's like all bits and pieces of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah. So, those are the panels. I mean, the I just these are the breaks. Like just this art alone. I mean, I I like the story already. Like I'm, even if it kind of goes off the trail or 
off the rails. I'm already invested myself into this. I'm going to read it all the way to the end. But I have the first two volumes saved in my cart already, and the third volume is coming out on November 17th. So they're mm. still still coming out, and they're not expensive. They're seventeen dollars each. I thought they'd be. That's I mean, they're right, paperback. Yeah, yeah they're paperback. Who's, uh, who's releasing them? Um, actually, I don't even know. I'm looking at Amazon here. Uh, uh, publisher publishing. Vertical Vertical Comics. Uh, VC. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, I definitely just for the art alone, I want to have these on my shelf. Yeah, sweet protection. Good yeah. pick on CC. Too bad she's playing really Minecraft. Uh, in uh, Smash Bros. Hmm. So, but yeah, I think really the art, I mean, what do you guys feel about the actual writing, like the message of the story, the whole story up to this point? Yeah, there's not much of a message at this point. No. But how do you guys like how the story is mm-hmm. being told? How do you guys, or just the story in general? It's not bad. I th- again, I think I probably need to read the whole thing in order to get like a good impression of it. But if it feels like it's just build up for nothing, kind of build up for nothing. Yeah, yeah. what you mean? Yeah, maybe I'll wait till like the whole thing is done before I let you guys read it. Let me <laughs> know if it's worth it. I think right now a lot of the stuff that we're reading now does kind of get answered. And you mm-hmm. kind of get some satisfaction. We're like, oh, okay, but they, you know, there's they close those two or three doors, but then like five or six more open, and now you're just like, oh, okay, now I just gotta wait for another like ten chapters before some more of these are answered, kind of thing. So, mm-hmm. but I, where it is right now, I don't see it going on for much longer, especially like you know the whole trial and everything. Like I don't, yeah, I can see it ending in like. Around chapter 100. Yeah. Because after that, it's like, what? <laughs> yeah. So, but, uh, yeah. Would you guys like to see this as an anime? I think it would. Really? Uh, really interesting to see how they would do the visuals. If uh, they didn't held up to the manga, because a lot of the story is told through visuals. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. If they didn't, if they didn't hold up, uh, I think the enemy would fall on its face. Yeah. I think if they kept it that like that one panel where it has like that, like the one color panel that you showed. Mm-hmm. I think if they kept it to that style of art where it's not just like super hard edges. It's all like very. <laughs> artistic Can't really have kind like pink blush knees. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that they kind of kept it to like just a very subtle almost like art style because this whole manga seems like it's like some artist just drawing with a pencil so I think if they kept it the same way like almost with like water paints and just keeping it very light I think I think visually it would look good visually I'd watch it the story I mean the story it's nothing it's not an original eh, it's, it's not too much of an original story you know crazy mom or overprotective mom well, as far as Japanese told stories go, I guess maybe uh, because I don't, I haven't read, too, I haven't read too many like thriller or like psych- psychological mangas, and I think after reading this one, actually I think I even told Asim like, yeah, no, I think I found like the genre that I like is like this kind of stuff, yes. horror, like psychological, and, like thrillers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So. I think if I think I think as an anime, it would do well. I think again, if it, yeah, it yeah. would be kind of a hard thing to balance, but it could be done well. Yeah, yeah. maybe like three D cell shaded. No, okay. <laughs> well, what? Well, if I, was you, like, I think like if it ends soon, it'd be better done on like almost like a mini series, couple episodes. Yeah, uh, strictly yeah. voice it with like actors and actresses that have been like me too. <laughs> You know, give it that weird vibe. Can we get Louis C.K. being uh, on? <laughs> Louis C.K. and a fucking cat Kevin or something. Spacey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kevin Spacey can be the mom. No, no. But... <laughs> supposed to kiss a little boy. <laughs> I was going to say, make the mom an uh, Amber Heard. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, Heard. Okay. So, 
Uh, music. I don't know. What kind of music do you think this would have in the anime? Uh, same thing, but I can't think of magician, musicians right now that have been like me, dude. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, what was that? Was the one There's like a whole like... band, right? Oh, Headley? <laughs> Headley, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what happened to that whole thing, anyways? Head, like, I actually, like, because I heard that anymore. I heard something like that happened, and then it just felt like it just kind of went away. Oh, I, I like cropped the end of this, Alyssa. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So they, I, I think they do good on the music. But, just, uh, Headley. just Headley <laughs> doing like Gunner after the mom abuses the boy. <laughs> I'm gunning. For you, and like all these like horrible words appear on the kid's body, just like the music video. Do you just fucking love the idea of the kid being voiced by Louis (laughs) C.K.? Oh my god! All right, so just uh, one last question here: Did any of these scenes stir up any emotions for anybody? Real or just even like I can imagine if I was in that kid situation. I'd be scared, creepy, like any emotions, angry, laughing, crying, hurt. Is being unsettled in an emotion? Yep. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Uh, elaborate, this... Will. Fucking it elaborate. gave me the gave me the heebie jeebies. Holy shit, Will, if I could put this back scratcher through this camera. <laughs> just... If you hit like <laughs> this spot, it's like, like a rake. Just down there, it's it'd be massive. fucking great. I just fucking just... You gotta like rake your Zen garden. <laughs> yeah. This is what I rake my Zen garden as in my pubes of this. Right back to it. Fantastic. <laughs> Why does it make a noise? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly descriptive pubic homing noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as I comb my pubes. Yeah, no, it's a, it's an accurate. If you scratch your head with it, yeah, it is. I know that's it's an accurate. It's an accurate. <laughs> Fuck, give me a second. You ever rub the bottom of your foot and it feels like TV static? Like barefoot or socks? Barefoot. And we're talking about the carpet or the hardwood floors. Barefoot, you fucking idiot. Yeah, but the carpet though. On your finger. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just don't see it. No. Like like a fucking bulb television. Okay. No, I just don't see it. Hold on. No, I, I Oh don't. god. <laughs> you make it so many people happy right now, Mike. <laughs> if you could just like crush a small bug. <laughs> I'll buy you some stilettos. Come on, Mike. Almost fucking put my foot through the screen. Fuck my sock go. Oh, oh, just found out I'm working remotely there. tomorrow, so you know what that means. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hear it? Okay, yeah. <laughs> that means Red Bull? My dude's drinking a Red Bull, my man. Oh, oh fuck. Can of soda pop. All right, how about anybody else? Emotions. Jeff. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have a dead cat in my childhood I don't like to think about. That I actually just talked about in therapy today. Nice. Nice. So yeah, that kind of fucked me up. But I think the manga almost like forced me to. Actually, I think that's why I didn't read it. Mm-hmm. Like dead cat chapter one. I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna read this. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, take like, it right, off at a high point, you know? Like, <laughs> right away, just like God damn it. <clears throat> yeah, no. But uh, today I walk in therapy like guns blazing. Like, hey, I want to talk about this cat in my childhood that was like accidentally murdered potentially by me, uh, but actually not. Like I know for a fact my dad eventually had to put it down. But it was a whole thing. Essentially, as a kid, I was like, I smothered a kitten and then tried hiding it, which only like, smothered it more. But that's, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> we have to get into. <laughs> yeah. That's why as... I, yeah, I talked about it today. And my therapist is fucking dumping me. Apparently, I'm at the end of the road. So you, you did a great job. There's like no more therapy you can receive. <laughs> Not dumping you. So I get the fuck out of my <laughs> office, you little cat killer. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, was that the one and only cat, or was there more? It's like, well, every time I kill one, I just add it to the hole. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
Oh, let's yeah, anyways, it, it, it sincerely fucking triggered <laughs> some anxiety in me when I first read the chapter. I'm like, I don't know if I can get through this. Is there more dead cats? And I just didn't bother reading it <laughs> until like eight o'clock today when I was like, oh, wait, I'm over that thing. And I just started power reading. Gans is very safe. Yes, he is. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you he is. I know. I'm just kidding, sweetie. Not the other um, one. I mean, but if he starts, if he keeps chewing his manga. <laughs> if he keeps acting yeah. up. <laughs> keeps acting up. Oh, it's fucking yeah. great. Fucking, uh, what's his name? Merlot chomps a piece of cardboard and I can tell that his like teeth are like this big when Gans fangs are like this big so it's 100% Gans that bit my shit <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole actually uh, Alyssa the manga's like right there on the shelf uh, you hang on, I can go grab it One second. and my asshole cat just starts clawing the fucking front cover then starts chewing at it and I can kind of hear tears from the other room like what the hell is that what, is, what does he have yeah fully has my uh my very my private manga. You can just like pan down. There's a real. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a bunny ears, man. That's a dead cat. That's a dead cat. Right there. Respond. <laughs> As you for, do your for, a, for a second, I thought you were about to do this. Respond. Dunk. <laughs> <laughs> Wake the fuck up. <laughs> Did you do this? Dunk. <laughs> oh. He said he doesn't care. You don't. Well, cats don't give it a shit. It's not like a dog where if you like catch a dog doing something and put it in front of him, like, did you do this? The dog's like, uh, cats like. Hmm. You get out my yeah, face. <clears throat> Even Saturday morning after the I guys did. leave, what do you do about it. I'm like fucking off my kitten. I'm like, get your ass out of here. I'm not feeding you. Like I'm not waking up yet. Hops on the the shelf where I like keep my glasses and my shit, so when I wake up, I can put them on. Just starts like slowly knocking shit off. <laughs> well, now I gotta get up, <laughs> but I'm not gonna feed you. <laughs> no, I feed my cat. You're gonna learn. You're gonna suffer. You're going two days this time. <laughs> <laughs> New record. Alyssa, what emotions for you? Uh, the whole seizing up and not being able to talk properly in moments of panic, I guess, or I don't even know what the thing would be called. Actually, him not being able to talk for those, like, because the trauma there. It kind of reminds me of a really good anime movie that I can never remember the name of. Name of. I told Jeff to watch. No. <laughs> that, I told talking. Jeff to watch, like, multiple times. <laughs> I don't think he ever did. Oh, let me find it quickly. Uh... Well, way to bring it up, Will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially with that, like, him just not talking all of a sudden really threw me off where I thought I ran into what Michael ran into where it's like oh I just skipped an entire chapter <laughs> I just didn't get it so I'm like looking around like is there what the fuck is going that's, on that's why you had to ask us off camera like does he develop <laughs> what did you ask again did he, uh, does he have a disability or something that's it yeah, yeah. does he get a disability because oh. I wasn't really paying attention to what he was saying beforehand it is I don't really <laughs> notice it afterward I'm like what the fuck yeah it <clears throat> threw me off yeah, the movie I'm talking about is uh, the Anthem of the Heart. I told Jeff yeah, to watch multiple fun. times, but never, never has. Which one? Anthem of the Heart. I got things to do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, last time you recommended me an anime, just a bunch of dudes fucking each other. It was weird. <laughs> Did you like it? It yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was a <laughs> <That's laughs> pretty fucking. Did sick you like anime? it though? Well, I mean. <laughs> I would have liked it if it was an actual anime, but this was like a live action anime. It was just weird. <laughs> live action anime adaptation. <laughs> live guys fucking. <laughs> you saw the words for that. <laughs> Beautifully animated. Yeah, I, I may have sent the wrong link. <laughs> uh, but Will, I mean, he watched it. Well, what weird. Emotions did this throw for you? You asked me this already. Did you? No, you yeah. just you just kind of took over from Melissa. Yeah. No, I said it gave me the heebie-jeebies. Oh yeah. And then you said you were gonna sh scratch me, oh. scratch my back. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's how much I just listen to you. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to listen to me, but you do watch my recommendations. <laughs> yeah. Robert, what about you? Emotions. Weird emotions. Uh. Well, shit, I'm not going to lie. I kind of just, like, stared at the mega, just sort of blank-faced until I was done. 
Like, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds kind of shitty, but it's like, yeah, I don't know. Like, push the guy off a cliff, like, yeah, it kind of sucks, but, like, what else happens? I'm like, oh, that's – all right, she does, like, the old crazy eyes. That's pretty nifty. <laughs> oh. Cat dies, that's a bummer. I don't know. It just didn't really, like, hit it with me at all. Yeah, well, so – that's understandable. You know, you're heartless. It's fine. They're also the worst person I know. Kidding, you know, drink, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I drink and beat my children. <laughs> Wish I could see them again. <laughs> them off <laughs> they're just. <laughs> Wish I could see them again, but they're Cheryl. six feet under. <laughs> Cheryl, well, please. It's like court ordered that I can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really. There was one year, like a month, for whatever reason, the like the number one meme was. Jessica, why can't I see my kids? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking funny. Fucking, yeah. How did that start again? <laughs> like, I don't know. The dog kept barking at me, so I put him down. I think he misses you. <laughs> Jessica, why Why don't you return my text? <laughs> <laughs> Where's that from? I don't know. Just shitty me from like 2017 or something. But why does it sound like it's from an actual like comedy movie almost? Because it probably was comedy. used. Like it's, Maybe. it's a pretty easy joke to make. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. The motion for me is uh, oh, I had it in my head. Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter. Where, where, where did I ask? Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, ha, ha. I get it. On that note, I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> Shit. I don't know, but just kind of like going through trauma and then having a hard time finding your voice. Just like how how shitty that is of a feeling. Stuff like that. And just being able to work through it, you know, and finding that one thing that helps you find your voice. And on that note, Will, you're eliminated. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you, you lost. I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. You lost. There were some points. You're done. Like, uh, but Gans think, somehow didn't. Yeah. But I think that uh, covers okay. it up. I mean... I would recommend it. I think that's actually that's gonna I, fucking attack your headphones. I know it. Well, he's already did it earlier. I think <laughs> during the recording, you know, beginning. Yeah. I definitely have already recommended this to Asta, and I would definitely recommend it to more people, for sure. Anybody else? I don't know if I'd recommend it yet. Yeah, I'd I'd have to see where the story goes. Story, yeah. Maybe like I always take the recommendation as being like a you're recommending it to somebody who hasn't really read manga before yeah and i probably uh, I, so. I don't think that's a really entry level sort of thing yeah, yeah i am but if, uh, if you're already into the genre i think it's great like it looks pretty it tells a good story but yeah. apart from that i'm a i'm a highly sought after dinner guest and my recommendations have to be like top notch fair that's just weird i haven't invited you over for dinner i said i'm highly sought after you don't make the cut Turn it around on him. That's one heart. Oh. That's two heart. Fuck. Three. How do you do? That? I can't remember the pinky one. Whatever. Are there like gang signs there. Blood and crips and shit. Here's my blood. Here's more of my blood. <laughs> well, on that note, that was our review of Blood on the Tracks. Turns out it's what it's called. Blood on the Tracks, the English version. Chapters and one through thirty-three. Thirty-three. Yeah. Thirty. Well, technically, I don't it was supposed to. It was supposed to be 32, but we first all... Four volumes, first four volumes plus one. Chapter. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Japanese version, Chino Wadachi. <laughs> you always have to have that chi at the end there. You know, to make it not racist. <laughs> but on that note... That's how you do it. Yeah. On that yeah. note, we'll sign it off here. My name is Michael. How are you doing a live then? I'm Rob. <laughs> Well, Alyssa, and I'm Jeff. Bye. Bye.